the word sanatana dharma it is there even before christian religion came or an islamic religion came or for that matter any other religion came even before what uday nidhi in december 2022 he calls himself as a christian even before that it came this is nothing less than a genocidal call and it has been supported by karthi chidambaram of the congress party our uh, uh, leader mr udayni this uh, statement has been twisted taken out of context the word sanatana dharma it is there even before christian religion came or an islamic religion came or for that matter any other religion came sanatana dharma means eternal dharma timeless dharma a dharma that will stand the test of time that is the meaning of sanatana dharma it is there for a long 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 time even before what uday nidhi in december 2022 he calls himself as a christian even before that it came now why what udayanidhi spoke yesterday every indian all the 142 crore indian should condemn this because the visceral hatred for a particular religion has come out yesterday last year every year the dravida kalagam and their like minded people they keep organizing some or the other conference last year it was sanadana opposing conference this year it is sanadana eradication conference they have gone one level up to say eradication and the speech that he gave I, i saw his speech also i don't think he was speaking verbatim if somebody is speaking verbatim uh, looking at people then we can say probably the words got slipped out he was reading from a prepared text which means consciously the text was prepared in a stage he was reading it line by line we can very clearly make out from his body language where he says like cholera like dengue like mosquito like covid sanadana should be eradicated eradication of a particular culture if if i can equate some other word to it it's called genocide that is what hitler did for jews and that is the level to which a sitting minister of tamil nadu government speaks it once again the indi alliance has shown its true face bharat virodhi face hindu virodhi face dmk's leader stalin the statement he has made comparing sanatan dharm with diseases and has also said that sanatan dharm should be terminated should be finished should be extinguished this is nothing less than a genocidal call and it has been supported by karthi chidambaram of the congress party this shows the mindset of this alliance it's not a one off statement samajwadi party says that hindu dharm is a dhoka iuml had raised genocidal calls against hindus in kasaragod mmk made a poster mocking prabhu shri ram we have seen the long history of sanatan virodh by congress party doubting existence of prabhu shri ram opposing the ram mandir hindu terror hindu is a dirty word and so on and so forth which has even been described in manishankar ayer's book the question is that is this mohabbat ki dukaan or is this nafrat ke bhai jaan dekho main कांग्रेस की भूमिका हमारी स्पष्ट है किसी धर्म के बारे में चेष्टा करना किसी की भावनाओं को दर्द देना ये कांग्रेस की भूमिका नहीं है सर्वधर्म समभाव की भूमिका जो बाबा साहब अम्बेडकर ने हमें संविधान में दी है उसी भूमिका को लेके ले चलते हैं हम किसने क्या बोलना वो हमारे हाथ में थोड़ी देखिए हिन्दुओं को गाली देने की एक और सी मची हुई है नेताओं में सत्य सनातन धर्म को मिटाने की कोशिशें हजारों साल से हुई हैं लेकिन सनातन को लोग मिटा नहीं पाए एक हजार साल भारत गुलाम रहा और एक हजार साल तक लगातार सनातन को मिटाने की साजिशें हुई महाराणा प्रताप 
गुरु गोविंद सिंह जी महाराज वीरा की कतराय छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज कितने महापुरुषों का लहू शामिल है सनातन धर्म की शक्ति में तो सनातन को मिटाने का जो ख्वाब है ये अंग्रेजों ने भी देखा ये मुगलों ने भी देखा लेकिन सनातन नहीं मिट पाया लॉर्ड मैकाले की कुछ नाजायज औलादें ये ख्वाब दोबारा देख रही हैं सनातन ना मिटा है सनातन ना मिटेगा ये देश तमाम धर्मों की इज्जत के लिए जाना जाता है हमारा संविधान इसीलिए सेक्युलर है कि देश के अंदर भिन्न भिन्न धर्म रहते हैं भिन्न भिन्न जबानी रहती हैं ताकि देश को एक रखा जा सके लेकिन पिछले नौ सालों में भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने धर्म को राजनीति में लाकर धर्म का को पॉलिटिसाइज कर दिया है और उसी का ये नतीजा है कि जिसकी मर्जी आती है वो किसी भी धर्म के मामले में कुछ भी बोल देता है our uh, uh, leader mr udeni this statement has been twisted taken out of context and the biggest fake news peddler has put out a tweet that mr udeni this stalin has uh, asked for genocide if the prime minister says congress mukt bharat does he call for genocide and how can they say that mr udeni this stalin has called for genocide that is a fake news that is hate speech they have to be answerable to the law for making those fake news bringing up those fake news and driving hatred and when we say we want to do away with sanatana dharma it means we want to do away with a rigid caste system the sanatana dharma perpetuates 100 years back did women have empowerment were they allowed to remarry were they allowed to hold property no where the scs sts obcs the shudras allowed to have education allowed to have properties do businesses no